What is going on everybody, Fluxo here and today I am teaming up once again with those awesome people over at Paradox Interactive to bring you guys another Foundry tutorial video. Today we're going to be delving into ships and elevators, hopefully giving you guys some more in-depth look into how these things operate. Also how to implement them into your own factories, so without further ado, let's get into this one. Cargo ships and landing pads do exactly what you need them to do, and in my opinion are the best way to transport goods over long distances. There are two different types of landing pads, the start pad and the target pad. The starting pads will come with their own cargo ship that will ship items from the start pad to the target pad of your choice. To set up and automate your cargo ships, first you need to choose a name for your target pad. This can be accessed by the screen panel on the platform itself. Once you've chosen the name for the target pad, go to your start pad and then set the destination as the name of the target pad you have just named. Additional control in the behavior of the takeoff conditions can also be edited. This will allow you to have a say in how and when you want the cargo ships to take off and land, one being the fill percentage of the cargo and the second one being how much time the ship is docked for. The character elevator acts as a common elevator where you can travel between different floors. Start by placing the elevator building to make your first station. As the stations can be moved during the construction mode, you don't have to place the initial building at the desired height of your future stations. Once your station is placed, go to the screen panel inside the elevator cabin. Open the configure frame menu and you will find that you can list all of your stations and their heights. Once you have finished adding your stations, click the confirm button and the elevator will start building itself. Once finished, all that is left to do is to try it out. Go into the cabin of the elevator and select which floor you would like to go to and the elevator will do the rest. Freight elevators allow you to vertically transport goods. The elevator consists of two parts which you can choose from by holding right click and selecting either the top or the bottom part. Once selected place your first part of the elevator and you will see that it emits four alignment beams. Next take your second part of the elevator and you will find it automatically snaps to the alignment beams to make the placement of it easier. Once happy place the second part of the elevator and it will automatically start to build removing any terrain in its path. Once the terrain is removed, the elevator will finish building. Then all that's left to do is to add the loaders to each end and your goods will start transporting up or down the elevator. So there you have it guys. Hopefully now you have a good idea of how the cargo ships and elevators work in Foundry. If you did find this video helpful, let me know by the likes, the comments, and don't forget to subscribe to the Foundry YouTube channel for much more. It's been an absolute pleasure bringing you another one of these tutorial videos, but as for myself, I'll catch you all in the next one.